Logic Pro for iPad 2 has just received its first update to version 2.0.1. So if you've had issues with bugs or stability with these new features, this is an update you probably want to know about. And in this video, I'm going to dive in and take a look at what's new. Let's go. To update Logic Pro for iPad, you will need an active subscription, and I explain that in another video. You'll find linked up there and in the description. And then you need to go to the App Store. This is the easiest way to do it. Search for Logic Pro for iPad, jump in, and you'll see an update button ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit the update button. It's going to go and request the update, and there you go. It's updating my version 2.0 to version 2.0.1. Once that's done, it's ready to go. We just hit the open button, and it's going to open Logic Logic Pro for iPad and it'll give you this little welcome screen but this is pretty much what you've already seen if you've already checked out Logic Pro for iPad too. So we're going to hit continue and dive in here. Yes, the session players are great. We've already downloaded them but what happens if we hit this download four packs button here? Is it going to download new versions of them? Well, let's find out. To do that, we're going to hit the create project button here and we're going to jump in to a new project. Not right now, Apple. I'll rate you later. Uh, we'll jump in here and go to a new track so that we can check out our uh, session players. There you go. It's downloaded the electronic drum. So apparently there is some new stuff in here that it needs to download. Uh, but if we come here to the bottom left and go to your sound library, this is where you can check to make sure everything is either downloaded or being downloaded. Let's tap on manage packs. And there you can see there is some things we don't have. If we scroll down, what don't we have? Well, apparently we have everything. Oh, these are downloading at the moment. But if in doubt, just hit the get all button and uh, there you go. It'll say installing those. Yep, we're good. We'll continue and everything will be installed. I'll join you once these are all downloaded. Now, your mileage may vary, but for me, even though I had these downloaded, it is re-downloading the electronic drums, acoustic drums, studio pianos and studio basses. And this is because there's some bug fixes and stability improvements across all of these new features, which we will show you in just a moment. Okay, so this last pack is nearly done. And there it goes. We've got all of these updated. If we scroll back to the top here, there should be nothing left to download. So I suggest, even if you're not using this straight away, that you jump in and hit that download update button now, get everything downloaded and updated so that next time you use Logic, you're ready to roll. I've opened up the project that I was working on before and everything looks exactly the same, but it's what's under the hood of this new update that we want to take a look at. So let's jump over to the update notes and go through these one by one. Here are the Logic Pro for iPad 2.0.1 release notes. You can check out the link to these in the description of this video, or just hit pause as we go through if you want to read in more detail. First up is performance. There's a disk is too slow error message that many of you have been getting. It shouldn't be happening. It's not actually too slow, and this will fix it. Next under stability and reliability. There's currently a bug where if you're creating a new region at the playhead, sometimes you get a crash in the session players during playback. I've had this a couple of times. It's a bit annoying. It's now fixed. The session players have had some attention. There are a few issues with regions and with changing of chords and other things that you can check out here. If you've been having these problems, once again, they now should be sorted. Now, the smallest but probably most annoying one, the problem where the sound library says you've got something left to download even when you don't. And this has now been fixed. So if you've been really stressing about that little badge with the four in it over your Logic Pro for iPad, it is now fixed. And also we had a problem when installing sound packs in cases where there's too little free space available. Logic Pro now shows the correct amount of needed space to complete the download. Plugins have seen some tweaks to the scripter, the studio bass and half sustained pedal positions have now been fixed in the studio piano. And this one is cool. I've been playing around with the chords track the loop key command now works on chord groups. I'll show you that in a minute because I want to check out another bug that I've been getting frustrated with and see if that's been fixed. But this is a cool thing. Not only can you use the duplicate and the copy and paste, it looks like you can now finally use the loops key command with your chords groups. I don't use a heap of automation, but apparently there was an issue with the cut time command and it's now fixed. This one would have been frustrating. Bouncing a folder in place no longer places the bounced region one bar to the left of the original position. I can only Imagine if you're using that export and bounce and it's just shifting at one bar, that would have been frustrating. Frustration be gone. Global tracks. The loop command now works on arrangement regions when the global tracks are displayed. Do we have arrangement regions? Did I miss a meeting on this? 
I think I need to do that full manual series about Logic Pro sooner rather than later. And under undo, the cut cycle command now creates an undo step. Really handy because sometimes you do something and then you undo. If it didn't realize you did a thing, it undoes the last thing. This has fixed it. And that is it. Everything else is the previous version, Logic Pro 2.0. And I cover that in massive detail in another video you can check out in the description right now. So is there anything massively new in this update? Well, no, not really. It's bug fixes and stability improvements. But if like me, you've been using the new Logic Pro for iPad 2, loving it, but just wishing that it was a little more polished, now the polish is here. And this is a reminder about why it is so important to report your bugs. Make sure that you're reporting any bugs, any features that are not working or features you'd like to see directly to Apple. I'll put a link to where you can do that in the description. Now, one of these things that I can check is the chords loop function. So now we should be able to select a chord, tap on loop, and yeah, there you go. So now we can actually loop out our chords. So if you've got a chord progression and you want to loop it over and over again, you can now do that by using the loop command here. Looks like you can't do it over the top of another chord. So we would have to delete that one and then come back and try. Yeah, there you go. So you can loop out your chords if you've got a repeating chord progression rather than copy, paste, copy, paste. So that's a handy time saver. And before we finish up, let's check the one bug that I found on the very first day I used Logic Pro for iPad 2. And that is if you're here in the manual section and you create your own manual pattern, you can't copy and paste between sections. Let's try and see if this works now. So we're going to tap. We're going to hit copy. We're going to go to the next section and drum roll, please. No, still not pasting. So this is something that I need to take my own advice on and go and report to Apple so that in version 2.0.2, maybe this one gets fixed too. There you have it. Is this an update that has got a lot of amazing new features? No, we had that two weeks ago, but it is great to see that Apple are continuing to commit to Logic Pro for iPad 2, because after all, it's a subscription service that you and I are paying for. So hopefully we see more consistent updates that continue to improve, add new features, and make Logic Pro for iPad even better. If you'd like to learn more about using Logic Pro for iPad to create, record, and release your best music, check out the other videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.